Thank you. Mr. Secretary General, I'm very worried about the situation we see in several member states where the decisions of the Human Rights Court are not respected. We see this in Russia, in Azerbaijan, and in Turkey. I would like to have your assessment on this situation. And concerning Turkey, I'm really not sure that what we see is progress and not just cosmetics. As we, as you perhaps know, there is a problem that is the government who will appoint this new commission. So are you sure that this is really progress and not just cosmetics? Um, yes, I'm also concerned with uh, the fact that, uh, first of all, the court is uh, more and more under attack many places, and also problems with the uh, implementation of judgment. You mentioned Azerbaijan. We have had a common concern there with regard to uh, Ilgam Amado that is still in prison, despite the fact that the court has said that he should be released. Therefore, I invoked Article 52 in the Convention uh, to investigate how uh, Azerbaijan is uh, implementing the European Convention. Uh, I can tell you that a positive news is that uh, this uh, delegation, which I appo appointed, uh, has now uh, visited uh, Baku, uh, and uh, it seems to me uh, that there are possibilities now to advance on this uh, particular issue. Uh, there are um, other examples uh, which uh, worries us. For instance, I'm very worried about the recent judgment from the Constitutional Court in the Russian Federation, saying that uh, a particular judgment from the court uh, here in Strasbourg cannot be implemented. We are uh, looking very carefully into um, the wording of the judgment. It seems to me that it might be an opening for to discuss this, but it's too early to say. But I would like to say here, and I've said it also when, it, uh, when I spoke about uh, the judgment of prisoner voting in the United Kingdom, because there it was argued that the parliament didn't want to, couldn't uh, implement the judgment. I've said it, and I reiterate this here, from the very moment of member states start to invoke their own constitution and their own parliament against the judgment from the court, the whole system starts to dissolve. Because the system is being upheld by the fact that member states uh, abide by what is said in Article 46 of the Convention, namely that all member states shall undertake to implement the judgment from the court. Um, so, yes, uh, I'm worried, but uh, I'm also uh, a man that uh, tried to find solutions, so let's uh, hope that uh, solutions can be found. Uh, but again, it's important that you in the national parliaments are aware of all this and also, of course, are watching what is uh, going on at the domestic uh, level. 